so right here we got the new Pro Stance 32. Whole machine, the whole frame of it is completely redesigned for all the Pro Stances, but the 32 is exclusively new for 2020, late 2019. Uh, it's got a completely different deck, same fold up rubber discharge chute. You don't have to worry about unbolting it like the old 36 style. This one folds right up, no problems. We've got the Kawasaki FS600V on here. I believe it's 18 and a half horsepower, as well as you have a new style muffler. The muffler used to shoot out the side right here, and it got to be in the way of the discharge chute. So what you have now is the muffler is actually above the discharge chute, causing it not to heat up and lead to further issues. The front of it here no longer folds up. You have these you know, little wing nuts here that are gonna unbolt. You're allowed to fold the, pull the belt cover off here, access your belts, which still has the constant belt tensioning system. As we step towards the uh, back of the machine here, you notice you have one hydro reservoir and your gas tank is still in the back of the machine. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of off the bat is this gas gauge. It's actually even harder to see than the older Pro Stand. So that's one thing that I did talk to the engineer about, but he said they're working on something that hopefully that will be solved later in a, in a further model. But it was very, very hard to just to design this as it was. Uh, you notice you have a bigger fuel filter too on the machine. I mean, it's a pretty good sized fuel filter. And you'll also notice that there's no longer a, like a wheel, a height dial of cut on the older Pro Stance that was up here. You have a pin system on the side of the machine allowing you to change the deck height. And there's no deck lockout feature like there used to be. It's all integrated in this pin system right here with this, with this thumb lever that pulls you back up into transport. You also still have the foot pedal lift assist. So you're still using your foot to uh, change the height. The platform has changed on this machine. It's a different in color, so it's black instead of red. It's also a little bit wider, and it's got more grip tape rather than those ridges on the older Pro Stance. Um, your battery's back here. This whole thing will unbolt with a couple bolts so you can take the cover right off. This platform will fold up with a pin right here. You push in. Like that, so. That will save you some trailer space overall. This, this machine is a little bit longer, but that, that's gonna allow it to be more compact and less trailer space. You also have these isolators right here, give you better suspension on your machine, as well as these are your neutral bars to pull out your machine and put it in neutral. You'll also notice on the side of the machine, these fenders are completely redesigned. Right here, they're still metal. Uh, it's got a new sleeker design on the machine here. Um, Hydro Gear ZT, transaxles underneath it, and you got your gas tank here, which I will find out that spec for you guys, let you know how many gallons that is. Up on top here, you have the choke. You do not have a operator compartment for you know storage or anything like that anymore. You still have your key, your low oil light, adjustable handle, which is new this year for different size operators that are you know learning the machine still. Then you have your PTO as well as your throttle, and your parking brake is still the same. So overall guys, that is the 32 inch Pro Stance. Those are the main features. Uh, there's nothing that we can cut with it today, but I hope to get you guys some cutting and mowing footage of it, show you it, and uh, see if it's gonna be a mower for you or just something to consider if you're in the market for a smaller mower for gates or for different properties. Leave a comment if you're excited about this Pro Stance 32. I know I am. I'm hoping I can maybe demo one, try it out on some of my properties, see if it's the right fit for my business, because even with this compact Pro 34 that I've gotten the privilege and chance to demo, it's still a little bit too big. So something like a 32 probably won't fit through a 32 inch gate, but it'll probably fit through a 34 inch gate. It'll be